A big thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, and a big thanks to all of these donators of $5 or more. Gloomy Horse, An Enthusiast, Willie Davenport, and Vlad Tepish 3176 You all helped make these episodes possible. Howdy, insufferable gaming fans. Your old pal Rosser here with some more Layers of Fear. Last time, we played Layers of Fear. This time, we're going to play some Layers of Fear. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to try to do this um, all in one sitting, if I can. Last time, we explored a spooky house, and it seems like we have an artist with a prosthetic leg that um, is an ill fit. His wife is a musician, and they are not communicating well. That's about the extent. Oh, and also he's definitely batshit crazy. Because this house has some crazy ass things going on. But it has some... Ah, oh, dude, I had a teapot just like that back when I was a kid. It was a good one. I kind of miss that. Excuse me. Um. Hello? Oh shit, someone's stuck in the paprika storage. You can't be having that. Also, does my finger still weigh ten and a half pounds? Hard to tell. The clock face looks, or the uh, weight face looks broken. Damn right I'm still going to open all of the plate. See, now we're not storing furniture in the furniture. Like, I thought it was weird to have a bunch of furniture stored under the oven. Because then you couldn't, like, build a fire in it. But, you know, I was thinking, I don't know. Maybe when they're... See, that's what was stored under it before. Yeah. That's what you don't want to see. Oh my god, I bet those pens are so expensive. Alright, someone was... Dropping the garlic, for one thing. Um... Can't say is that I saw that coming. I could use a potato potato though. And the door's locked. Because of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? All right, where's that closet? Somewhere around here? Seriously, any kind of light or anything would just be the bee's knees. I opened something. Didn't this closet have, like, some kind of switch in it, or...? Guess not. Aha! First, I looked for a canvas. Not just any canvas. 
I had to find a knife. Not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor. So I used a razor, in fact, and then carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hand steady. Of course. Yeah, seems perfectly normal. Oh, hey, I can get the F out of here. And I'm back into the painting room. That's a pretty nice descent into madness you're having there, buddy. I approve. Oh, and hey, here are some of those rat paintings that I've found. So apparently those are going to be collectibles. Shapeless dreams. As opposed to the highly shapeful dreams that we're used to. Okay, so now we have pink flamingos. Made of guts. Pink flamingos. What was the name of the guy that made that movie? The guy with the mustache that featured Divine and a whole bunch of other weirdos that really enjoyed doing it, except for the part where they had to eat shit. Literally. Alright then. Let me guess, we're going somewhere else next. Oh, hello. This is newish. This is another collectible thing. That's a lot of collectibles. I was really hoping that I could do this whole game in one sitting, but um, this looks like a pretty big set of circumstances here. Well. Far be it for me to shirk. Oh, hello. Deep breaths. Remember, you're a professional. It's just the first few strokes, then you're over the hump. What's so hard about it? One wonders, doesn't one, Sminky? Back to the daily grind, I suppose. An elevator. How quaint. Guess we're going up. catches something. Thirteenth floor. Andre and ghosts. Okay. In theory, what if I just wanted to go right back somewhere else? Okay, nothing, nothing, okay. But... What if I close the door first and go somewhere else? Ah, you didn't think of that, did you? Okay, you thought of that. Well, butt poops. Such is life. Ooh. 
we got ourselves some... Ooh, that's actually quite a lovely vase. Mother's Day is coming up in a couple of days. Um, that would be a nice one to get to put some flowers in for my mom. Just saying. Not that that'll date this episode or anything. That it's two days before Mother's Day 2018. When I'm recording... Why are all the doors locked? Something gonna jump out on me while I head back? So that's what's gonna happen? I mean, if it is, that's cool. I'm fine with that. I've been rather enjoying the jump scares at this point. Oh, there we are. Oh good, more creepy paintings, my favorite. I love those the most. Oh, it's a key. Okay, this is a long one. Let me clear my throat. <clears> throat> me, 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 me. Oh, he, oh, oh. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you are upset and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I have already stated, I can certainly understand that you have been through a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife, William H. Green, M.D. Okay, so there's some animosity going on between this guy and the medical community. Something involving skin grafts. Also, I just got a key. Let's get free key. That music is coming from in here. Yeah, that seems normal. Thank you, headphones. You're really doing a bang-up job of making this creepier than shit. Why did you stop? That tune was perfect. Honey, please, just a little longer. At least until I finish painting this one part. Oh, don't make me beg. Oh man, I wish I had VR so I could play this. As soon as I get VR, there's at least two or three games that I have that I would really love to play. And that painting just um, went to line drawings. It's like it got in Warhammer 40k ink wash. Muy interesante. The 
The thing about VR is, a lot of people say that it gives them a headache, but I would freaking love to play VR. I used to play the Virtual Boy for hours. Um, well, this elevator is out of the question. It's raining outside. One game that I would love to play in VR is uh, Scanner Somber. That's just a really cool atmospheric game all around. And I imagine that the VR would only enhance it. Ah, here we are. New place. Attic. Attica. Attica. The Greek Peninsula. Attica. Level 2 of Battle of Olympus. Attica. Attica. Sounds like something's a burning through that door. Just a bit. Just a hair, just a tad. Oh yeah, 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 okay. Well, that explains why it sounded like something was burning. I think I'll go out of my way not to jump down there. seems like the kind of nightmare I would absolutely have in real life. And now we're... <laughs> Getting into some evil dead shit. That's, that's great. You know, when I'm just watching people play games that have jump scares, you know, I don't react at all. I don't, you know, jump or shout or anything, but when I'm actually playing them myself, it's a little bit different. Especially if I've been drinking all day and I'm feeling particularly vulnerable. I will stare directly into this window until the lightning flashes and reveals something horrible, damn it. I'm usually not this jumpy, I swear. Rats. a giant bucket full of rat traps. Hello, what have we here? The following list is a compilation of the most common symptoms of schizophrenia. While typically, typically diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 25, the disorder is known to affect older patients as well. Note that these symptoms are not exclusive to schizophrenia and should by no means be treated as conclusive evidence of this particular affliction. In order to obtain a proper diagnosis, you should contact a qualified specialist, i.e. psychologist, psychiatrist. Blank expression, stares off into space, yes. Involuntary facial movements, yes. Insomnia, haven't noticed. Unusual gestures or postures, always had that. 
unable to experience joy from activities. Definitely. Depersonalization. What does that even mean? Awkward clumsy movement. Might be from the accident. Prone to anger, resentment. More passive aggressive. Lack of motivation. Yes. Suicidal tendencies? Huh? Okay. Alrighty then. Doesn't seem like this guy is quite in the schizophrenic range. But man, he's got some kind of crazy going on. My guess would be demonic possession at this point. Haunted house. Typical case of haunted house. You see it from time to time. Not often, but once in a while. Let's critique this art. This is like right out of this is like something right out of Hieronymus Bosch. Notice the um, flayed man in the middle. Notice the children that look like they're hugging some wolf-like creatures. Etc. It's yeah, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure that some of these are actual paintings, though, so that's kind of neat. Make up your mind. Here we are. What a lovely room. Can we? Maybe. Just maybe. Yeah! Spin the world. Um, I just unlocked an achievement called Inspired OCD. Possibly from opening a whole lot of drawers and shit. Hello. Can you be turned on? Yes, you can. Alright, now we get in somewheres. Not anywhere particularly important, mind you, but somewhere nonetheless. God, these shadows are gorgeous. I wish that default unity had uh, options for shadows like these. They may very well now. When I started uh, learning it, it didn't. That was a few years ago. They may have improved since then. And that caught me a little bit off guard. It's cool. Be cool. Where to next? In here? Sure. The creepiest grandfather clock I've ever seen. A swan to Pete. It's ticking down the moments of my sanity. Not getting a whole lot of um, fluff text now. That's okay. I'm sure it will pick back up. Um, I can't see myself in the mirror. Clearly, I am a vampire. A vampire. The Nosferatu. Except instead of drinking blood, I drink whiskey. Surely you've been in my position.
those people have. How many among us haven't either wanted to join or defeat Dracula. I can't help but notice that I'm locked in. That seems slightly inconvenient. All things considered, that's okay. I'll just sit here for a second and take my medication pills. Yeehaw. I'm in my mid to late thirties and I have to take medication every night. That's what you like to see in your uh, game streamers on the internet. I'll have you know I've been playing since the Atari 21... 21-3482... No. The Atari 2600. Oh, guess I'm stuck here forever. That's that's gonna be fun. Sitting around in this uh, particular room for days and at a okay. Oh, good. I was worried there for a minute. I'm glad we cleared that up. Roundy, roundy, roundsky. We're through the looking glass, people. Not that that means a lot, I'm sure. Who, puppy? Puppy dog. Good. Puppy dog. Uh -huh. That makes me sad. I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Was that a... Nope. That was not a thing. I love those dark whispers. It's like Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem all over again. God, I gotta play that sometime. Freaking love that game. You guys, remind me to do Eternal Darkness as a Halloween stream sometime. You want this as well? I mean, I can't say that I don't. What is this? Is this plaster over a brick veneer? Because that seems like a kind of convenient thing to have going on. Hey, there's that nifty um, flower vase again that I liked so much. And you. Some kind of colonial, I assume. Chin up, man. This door looks like it's seen better days. Can't say I'm sad to not be going in there yet. See, now that guy knows what's up with the mustache. And that looks like a Japanese uh, samurai picture got somehow mixed up with a European portrait. Uh, that ain't normal. Nah. Really? Okay, that could have been worse. I knew something was up. Ooh, 
A ceiling fan. Goddamn cheap Chinese shit ceiling fans from Sweden. I don't know what I'm even talking about now. This has gotten plum pixelated, damn it. Turn the lights on. Turn them on. Or don't. Whatever. I'm not your mommy. You'll help me out, lovely vase, won't you? Yeah, probably nothing horrible out there looking back at me from the abyss. That's exactly the kind of sound you want to hear in a horror game. King Henry the Eighth, I am. Henry the Eighth, I am. I am. I didn't want to be able to get into anything anyway. Did I know? No, no, I didn't. That would have just been. Beyond the pale, would it not have been? Look at all this light in this room. This is the best room that I've seen in minutes. I'm just gonna be here, hanging out. And look at that glasses case. That's a bitchin' glasses case, I must say. Like, um, a black lacquer with a rose motif. That's, that's, that's pretty pimpin'. I certainly wouldn't turn my nose up at that glasses case. That's all I'm saying. Broken bottles, would we? Clearly. Okay. No shit. For reals time. Both my mom and my grandma have some china with that pattern on it. I know exactly where they got the model for this piece. I love it. Me gusta. What have we here? April 6. Found this little collection of empty bottles this morning. I reacted badly. I know it's hard for him too, but God damn it, he should know better. With a small child in the house, that's just irresponsible. Oh, well, sounds like someone doesn't like drinkity doos. You know, sometimes when a child's involved, you just need an extra drink. Because it's like, you know. Hello? Come in. I'm naked. Come in faster. My dick's pointing right at the door. The wallpaper might be melting. I swear. People just, uh... Don't know a joke when they... Okay, that's some paint smears. Cool. Right into Henry VIII. That's horrifying. This house is absolutely amazing. Oh, 
But those stairs. With that leg of mine, I think you'll have to carry me to the bedroom once we move in. Uh-huh. Remember how cool I said this cane was? Is that like a ram skull with dripping flesh, or...? That's kind of what it looks like. Oh, now I get to go in here. Walk across a bunch of broken glass. Like Bruce Willis and Die Hard. Uh, that banana looks delicious. And so do those apples. Now that's an interesting piece. I could write a short story about that. Just a gate with a closed porticulus right out in the middle of nowhere on a desolate, blasted landscape. That's cool. I like that. Send in your entries to the Blasted Desolate Landscape Portcullis Arch Writing Contest. A minimum of 10 words and a maximum of 1 million words. And the due date is one year from now. The winner gets accolades and a kudos bar. That is a record. I'm not cranking that thing. Proth prosthesis snatchers. Why the damn leg? Insatiable bastards. No, no. It's insufferable bastards. You got it all wrong. Also, got them hiccups. <laughs> Hang on a sec. Old hiccup remedy. Seems to have worked. Good thing. It's a bit painful, but it gets the job done. Okay, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's 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 normal. I needed a jar and a plastic tubing. I siphoned gas before. I knew how it was done. I stuck the tube in a vein and sucked on it until blood filled my mouth. Then put the tube in the jar and it just kept coming. The taste of copper haunted me the entire night. Why didn't I think of a syringe? You used your wife's blood for paint, didn't you? I'm calling it now. I suspect that this might be the case. Perhaps it drove him mad. Nah, he was clearly already quite mad. 
Prove me wrong, game. Prove me wrong. Honey, what in the world are you doing? What did the doctor say about straining yourself? Leave that thing alone. It's not going anywhere. Fiddle. Fiddle DD. -D. And a possessive bastard at that. Awesome. Let me out of here. Would you? Would you? Could you? Should you? No. Might you? Perhaps. Um. Door. 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 Ah, there it is. It's completely broken. Okay. If I do it the other way around, so this way, no, can't be done. All right. Ah, there we are. There was a switch, you see. Outstanding. I got something in my front pocket for you. But don't you reach in and see what it is? Get me the frick out of here. Bunch of frickin' fricks, freaks, and frickety dykes, and frickety dukes. Just the weirdest peoples you'll ever do meet. Oh, hey, look, it's the. We're back here again. Of course we are. Of course we are. And did I gain any more pictures? Not a goddamn one. That's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I found one. Well, that's something at least. Hello, what have we here? First I looked for a canvas, not just any canvas. I had to find a knife, not one of those bread ones. It needed to be as sharp as a razor, so I used razor, in fact, and carefully flayed the skin. Booze helped keep my hands steady. Yeah, I remember reading that. Yeah, that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I do remember seeing that before. Alright, we've got some gut flamingos. How are they going to, um... How is this going to get worse? Of course. A f rotting flesh cave. What was I thinking? You know, most normal thing that you'd ever see in a video game. Who knew? Okay. Let's just take a quick break and then we'll be right back again.
until then, take a drink.